we're back here with Bernie again. How are you, Bernie? Great to Great, see thank you, you Andrew. Again. Good being here tonight. Yes. yes. Great I get to interview you twice. It's fantastic. Now, um, previous shows we've yes. talked about the technology and the testing of the piano, but what is the difference between, say, a, an upright and a grand piano? An upright? Oh, that's a good question, Andrew. I thought you'd come up with some good questions <laughs> like that one. Look, there's many differences, but fundamentally they are, as far as sound is concerned, very similar. Mm -hmm. The thing about a grand piano is that it's open and therefore the sound is projecting out of it. Yep. So you're hearing, if you, if you did take the top off an upright piano, yep. it would also sound quite vibrant. So with an upright loud. piano, yep. you can't take... You can't well, you can lift the lid a little bit, yeah, have the lid thought, and so yeah. forth, but you can't directly... Um, and th there was uprights that had the lids go that way. Mm. And that was quite interesting. Yep. Uh, and it lets more sound out. But with a grand, with, with the lid, it, it's designed, the grand, to project the sound out. Mm -hmm. It's designed to... to certainly fill a much bigger area. So would it be yep. called a grand because it's grand? Uh, yes, that's, that's a term, I suppose. <laughs> in, oh, that's in a girl thing, terms. probably. <laughs> yes, in simple terms. The, of course, it's, uh, in my opinion, that the mm. piano is the, is the queen of instruments. So you're talking about girl terms. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the organ, I believe, is the king. And you've got this, yeah, it's a very elegant instrument and yeah. it, it's made to predict the sound. But fundamentally, the main difference in a grand is, is that sound also, but uh, is probably the, um, the control you get, mm. uh, the control by the different action. So okay. you've got. Not so there's just a the, different you know, action between. Yes, yes. Yeah. What happens with the upright action? The the hammers actually have to be pivoted, and the grand piano action, the hammers are sitting like this. Now I've got some examples to show oh, you tonight. Beautiful. I thought we'd come along. No use talking about these things without <laughs> showing cutouts. So we took a grand piano, we cut it up, and we decided to just have one part of the action here. Now what happens is, you can see that the by depressing the keys, you've got the. It was just even touching the key, that hammer moves very quickly. So you've got really, oh, okay, it's yeah. very sensitive. Mm -hmm. So you've got this control factor while you're playing it. And that's for pianists. And then because it doesn't travel as far, it repeats very rapidly. Okay. It's very easily to repeat. So you get this different feel compared to, say, the upright. Mm -hmm. In the upright, what happens is you have quite a long area there on the, on the, on the mechanism, quite a long shank, as it's called, through to the whipping area. And... The, the action has to fall back. See, it's not. It, it takes a little bit to fall back the hammer. Oh, okay, the hammer's yeah. hitting the string, mm. and then it's falling back. So you can't repeat that as quickly. And also you don't have, because this jack passes by here, you don't really have the full feel of the hammer on the key. So why, so, would, Pete, yeah. why would someone buy a grand piano as opposed to an upright? What would... Well, because they want... Ease of control, because now, particularly with technology, we talked about technology previously, mm. but because the technology in the pianos means that the dynamic range is very extensive, yep. so you have from soft to warm to bright and brassy, and you need to be able to control that. It'd be like a car if you only had one gear. Mm. It wouldn't, it, you know, you'd be screaming. So you need to control that by the action. And this, these actions give you control. See, that's very easy to control that mm. hammer right through. It's nice and even. To get that on the upright is difficult. You've got to, it, it, it's, it's, it's wanting to go quickly. So I was always told, and I don't know if this is right or not, but a white grand piano has got a different sound than the black one. Now, that might be a very strange question. Oh, but I'm now actually, that's subjective. Now, I've heard that. Now, am I being sort of like, oh. sit up? Is somebody just treating me like a blonde? Or is <laughs> this actually a good question? I love that one. The white one, but, well, it's funny because... Generally, we, we find black and white pianos <laughs> sound pretty well the same. Yeah. The ones that can sound different are the timber cabinet ones. Which ones? Yeah, where they've got like walnuts and mahoganies. Yeah. Yeah, where yeah. they've actually... You see, what happens with a white piano and a black piano mm. is basically they take timber and they spray it. So it's, it's, it's sprayed very heavily with paint and they don't worry really which way the grain goes or, or, or what's happening. Yeah. It, it's processed, rubbed down and sprayed. Now, on a timber piano, they have to match the grain mm. and they have to um, you know, make sure that it, it runs all the same way and, and so it's joined, it has to be, uh, it's, it's more, would you say, manicured. Yeah. So it does actually slightly affect the sound. You'll find quite often a timber finished piano does sound different to a black or a white. But having a white and black one different, I haven't... <laughs> <laughs> you mean someone's that, having a joke with me? <laughs> oh, they're probably having a little bit of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't it do that to me, Bernie. Not at all, not at all, not at all. There's much difference. No. If Bernie Bear's even jumped off our Bernie table. Bernie Bear's he's given happy. up on that. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's recovered out of that one. Anyway, <laughs> yep. thank you so much, Bernie, for, uh, for being up. on our show. <laughs> Very welcome, Bernie, give him a round of applause. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Good night.